back, listeners. Hope you all having a great day. Today we have a real story told by a Reddit user. The story is by a computer's webcam. I want to thank the writer of this post for letting me use the story to tell the dangers of web cameras. If you enjoy the video, please leave a like or a comment. Now, on to the post. Someone was watching us through our web camera and came to our house. So I've always wanted to post my stories here. And I'll start with one of my weirder stories. And excuse me if I ramble, I'll try to keep it coherent. My life has always been surrounded by weird things. My family has a medium bloodline, so I'm gonna bond it over the more creepy side of life. A long time ago, when I was 14, I'm 23 now for time reference, my mom and one of my younger brothers and I were at home. At that time, my mom was in the U.S. Army, so our family was stationed in Fort Hood, Texas. We lived there for some time and had some creepers and whatnot looking through windows before we got our home on base. So being watched isn't as scary as it was to most people. Before living here, we had those issues. This was different though. For a few weeks, my brother, who was about 10 at the time, had noticed the webcam light on. Now, our computer was in our dining room, which overlooked the kitchen, laundry room, and entrance to the living room, and our back door. So I can see a good portion other than the living room. So we were a bit concerned we kept an eye on it for a few days and noticed they would go on and off at random times. We would check the web webcam window to see if it was left on or opened. It, it never was. So being too female as a young boy, we were rightfully a bit scared. So we put a tape over the camera and forgot about it. Fast forward maybe four days later, we had noticed the tape was gone. None of us took the tape off and if we had, we put it right back. I'm sure we had to my mom would video chat across the sea sometimes, so of course, but she always put it back. The light was on again, with no window, and suddenly, once we're all looking at it, off. At that point we knew it wasn't a glitch, someone was watching us. We decided to make a sign to put in front of the webcam. The sign read, we know you're there, and we put it in front of the webcam. Wait and wait and wait. Nothing. I assumed they were gone, waiting for us to forget about the light in the computer so they could continue watching us without worry. Then suddenly, the light came on. My mom and I saw the light come on, stayed on for 20 seconds to read the sign, then shut off. We hoped it would be it and it would be done. I mean, why keep watching us if you know and we call the police? Halfway through that, we heard the backyard gate slammed shut. We run to the window and check it, what it was, and saw nothing at all. But we were so too scared to go outside. Yeah, we were used to it, but not stupid. There was silence for about 10 seconds, and then we heard the gate slam again, and again, and again, and again, and again. We were suddenly terrified. Whoever was watching us was at our house right outside. Then suddenly, there was banging on the wall from the outside wall. We screamed so loudly, but later we found out no one heard us. Then more banging came from a different end of the house from the other side, and then more from the front. There were all multiple people banging as hard as possible for all the ends of the house. Keep in mind, we were a duplex, but so it's attached to other homes, and they heard nothing. My brother was so terrified and he ran and grabbed a small baseball bat. We stopped him from going outside through, you know, he's 10. So big sister Mo kicks in. I round him up into a laundry room, which is the safest room in the house for immediate danger. As I do that, the bane at all once stops. It's quiet. As can be, we're frozen in place, trying to listen. Nothing but quiet. As soon as it started, it was over. Our webcam light stopped coming on after that. And least to say we were always out a piece of tape covering the camera when we weren't using it. We never had anything like that happen again. From now on we hear the back gate but we chopped up to the wind. I have to point out again however, we lived on a military base. The only way on is with a military ID, card, or a visiting pass, which truly has been granted. These people with how quickly they got in and out of our home. They had to be military. There was no way a civilian just got on the base. 
even if they did, would have had to be staying at our home to get gotten there that quickly. After that, I'm more scared of my surroundings. I always close the shades and cover cameras. I never want that to happen again, ever. That's it for today's video. Hope it was a really good one. To all listeners today, please check your windows.